In this video, we're going to look at our first type of problem involving a weak acid equilibrium. And this, uh, so this is why, we remember in, when we were talking about weak acid, uh, when we were talking about equilibria, we started to assign problem types. And so we're going to use that, those problem types now to make the, an anal the analogy between chapter 16 and chapter 14. It turns out that in chapter 16, pretty much all of the basic beginning reactions are just examples from chapter 14. So what we're going to look at here is we're going to look at determining the Ka, so we're determining a K given the pH of a solution or the percent association. And really what the pH of a solution is, is this is the concentration of H3O plus at equilibrium. So this, this type of problem is we're getting a K and we're calculating it from an equilibrium concentration and that is a classic type 1 problem. So this is the type 1 analogy from... Uh, for weak acids. So let's look at this problem and see how to start it. So it says a solution of 0.025 molar lactic acid, a weak acid, has a pH of 2.75. Um, and now, so, okay, it has a pH of 2.75. Now we're going to talk about what that means in just a second in terms of whether that's an initial or at equilibrium. Then it says calculate the Ka for lactic acid and the percent ionization within the solution. Okay, so the first thing you're always going to do in any problem, just like we did with the in the equilibrium chapter, is the first thing we're going to do is we're going to write our reaction, and then we're going to write our Ka equation for it. So in this case, we have lactic acid, where we have HC3H5O3 aqueous plus water is in equilibrium with H3O plus aqueous plus uh, C3H5O3 minus aqueous. And we can immediately write a Ka for this. And these are, this, is the, this is a really, really critical and important step uh, when you're working these problems. The reason for that is because you have to know what's going on, and this is going to help you do that. This is going to help you know what you need and what you need to get. And remember, these values that are in the Ka are all at equilibrium. So this should start to sound familiar from chapter 14. Okay, so now let's dissect the problem a little bit. So it says a solution of 0.025 molar lactic acid has a pH of 2.75. So what's basically happening is, is you, take, uh, you take some lactic acid and you dissolve it, and you have an initial concentration. So this is the initial concentration of the lactic acid. And it ionizes. So um, if you think about it, when you put the lactic acid in to begin with, we start with 0 0.025 molar here. And then it ionizes and it makes some H3O+. Plus. And the pH that we have at equilibrium is equal to 2.75. So this pH is what happens after we take that initial 0.025 molar lactic acid, put it in water, let it ionize, then we get this pH of 2.75. So in essence, what we have is we have our, our concentration of H3O plus at equilibrium. We just have to convert the, H3O, the pH into an H3O plus concentration. So now what we have to do is we have to set up our ice table, just like we would in a type 1 problem uh, from chapter 14. So we have HC3H5O3. We have H3O plus. And we have um, our... C3H5O3 minus I, C, and E. Okay, so uh, initially what we have is we have 0 0.025 molar of the lactic acid, and we start out with no H3O plus, and we start out with no, um, we start out with none of the conjugate base. And so what's going to happen is, as time goes on, we're going to lose a little bit of this. And remember, from stoichiometry, we lose product, so it's a minus. And we look at our stoichiometric coefficient, which is a 1. So we get minus x, plus x, and plus x. And so at equilibrium, we're going to have uh, 0 0.025 molar minus x, x, and x. And just like in our type 1 problem that we had from chapter 14, we get information about H3O plus at equilibrium. The concentration, the pH is equal to 2.75. And so if we convert this to a concentration of H3O plus, 10 to the negative 2.75, we get a concentration of H3O plus at equilibrium equal to um, 
if you do that out, you get 1.77 times 10 to the minus 3 molar for the H3O+. Plus. And now we have to go about figuring out the concentration of the other things that are in solution. Because remember, with a type 1 problem, we have all of the equilibrium concentrations, and then we use them to calculate a Ka. So in this case, our concentration of H3O plus is going to equal our concentration of the C3H5O3 minus, because they're both x. So that's going to be 1.77 times 10 to the minus 3 molar. And then our concentration of the lactic acid, H3, C3H5O3, is going to be 0 0.025 molar minus 1.77 times 10 to the minus 3 molar. And so what we get for that is we get 0 0.0232 molar. And so now we have all three concentrations at equilibrium that we need in order to solve for Ka. So our Ka in this case is going to equal 1.77 times 10 to the minus 3 molar times 1.77 times 10 to the minus 3 molar divided by 0 0.0232 molar. And so our value for Ka is going to equal 1.35 times 10 to the minus 4. And so from our equilibrium concentrations, we've gotten a value for K, exactly like what we did with the, uh, the HI goes to H2 plus I2 problem. Now, there is one thing that we have to look at, and that is what is percent ionization? And how do we work with percent ionization? So we're going to actually switch gears here a little bit, and I'm going to explain to you what percent ionization is and how we can work with it. Okay, so percent ionization is the, a measurement of how efficiently the weak acid breaks up in water. And the way that we're going to measure that is basically we start out with a certain amount of the HA, right? Let's say that we start out with one molar HA. If that breaks up into solution and we get 0.5 molar A-, minus, that means that about half of it broke up, right? If we started with one and we go to 0.5, that means that about 50% of that uh, HA broke up in water. So we can, we can use that relative concentration of the conjugate base at equilibrium divided by the initial concentration of the acid. So basically how much of it broke up at equilibrium relative to how much we started with times 100, that percentage is a good indicator for what the percent ionization is. So in this case, if we want to calculate the percent ionized, we can go in and grab those values and, and calculate it. So our percent ionized in this case, if we want to calculate that, is equal to the concentration of the C3H5O3 minus at equilibrium, which is 1.77 times 10 to the minus 3 molar, divided by 0 0.025 molar, which is our initial concentration of the lactic acid, and we multiply that by 100 to get a percent. And so what we see is we get a percent ionized of 7.08%. And so this is something that you're going to notice. These percent ionizations are not very large for weak acids. These things do not break up completely in water. They, they don't even break up past 50% most of the time. Most of the time, they don't even break up past 10%. It kind of depends on the acid strength. Um, so in this case, the, the acid is actually quite weak, and we only get about 7% uh, of the acid breaking up, leaving behind 93% uh, of it as just the HA in solution. Now, what would you do if we gave you the percent ionized and um, asked you to calculate the Ka from that? Okay, so let's look at this pro let's look at the original problem, but from a slightly different perspective. What if they gave us, instead of giving us the pH, so in the original problem, they gave us the pH was equal to, I think it was 2.75. What if instead they gave us that the percent ionization was 7.08%? Can you, can you still solve the problem? And you can. The way that you would do that is very simple, and you can actually do that. You don't necessarily need to get the pH. You can actually calculate the exact same Ka if you're given the percent ionized. And it's a simple way of doing it, right? So the percent ionized is equal to the concentration of A- minus at equilibrium times the concentration of HA initial. So really, if you get the percent ionized, let's say that we got 7.08% ionized. We know from our problem, if you go back to the original problem we were looking at, that our concentration of uh, HA was 0.025 molar. So if we plug that in, 7.08% ionized is equal to the concentration of A- minus at equilibrium over 0 0.025 molar times 100, 
you can easily calculate the concentration of I minus at equilibrium, which is equal to 1.77 times 10 to the minus 3 molar. And from, and from here, this is going to be your value for X. And then you, what you can do is you can calculate your value for the H3O plus and your value for the lactic acid at equilibrium because now you've solved for X. It's just coming into the problem slightly differently. So one, one, of, two things, one of two things you can do with the percent ionization, you can either calculate it given the rest of the data, or you could be given it at the start of the problem and calculate the, the Ka given the percent ionization data. So you'll get practice on both of those in, in the homework.